Hi everyone, my name is Sean McCabe and I'm the principal of Spencerport High School. I want to thank you for taking a few minutes to watch this video uh, and to review our Class of 2021 resource page, which we've created to try and answer as many questions as we can for you. Please know that our class officers and advisors for the Class of 2021 are working hard to try and plan as many special events as possible for our seniors within the constraints of COVID safety protocols. As each of you know, having lived through the past 11 months, COVID has demanded that we be flexible, nimble, and ready to adjust plans based on the most up-to-date information we have available. So this does impact some of the events we're able to plan and how much notice we're able to give students and parents. But please know we are doing our best to listen to the feedback and suggestions that we've received through the survey, through emails, through phone calls, but then also work within the constraints of safety and health protocols as we currently understand them. I'm going to ask that you check this page, this web page, frequently as it is going to be updated uh, as more information becomes available. This is going to be one of our main tools to communicate with both parents and with students. So if you have questions, come to this web page. It should hopefully be able to answer your questions for you. If not, you can email us, you can reach out to us, but we really think this is going to be a valuable tool for that communication piece. In a moment, you will also be hearing from some of our incredible senior class officers who, again, have been working so hard for their classmates. I have so much respect, admiration for all of our students this year, for everything that they've been going through. Uh, and not just the Spencerport students, but students across the country, across the world, for what they've had to deal with and how they've handled that. But with these kids in particular, I just have so much respect for them and they inspire me. I was joking with them the other day, day. this is not what they had signed up for when they ran for class office. Um, I was joking if they would have still signed up for it to be a class office and run for it if they knew that we would be in the middle of a global pandemic and they would be working through this. And I'll be honest with you, I, I think they would all have said yes. That's the type of leaders that they are. Um, so my sincere thanks to them for all of their efforts. Uh, I would encourage everyone to thank them. They have a, a very difficult task that they're working on and they're doing it with grace and humility. Um, and again, I could not be more proud of them. So they'll be talking to you uh, and giving you some information from their perspective as class officers. Um, so a big thanks to them. A big thanks to our, our class advisors, Mrs. McLean, uh, Mrs. Buckner for all of their work. Big thanks to Mrs. Silsby, our assistant principal for 12th grade, who's really worked extremely hard with the class officers, with the advisors, uh, to try to get us to this point. And we are going to be working very, very hard over the next few months to make sure that the conclusion of the senior year for the class of 2021 is as memorable and as special as possible. So thank you, and I'm going to turn it over to our students. Hi, my name is Karina Rotoli, and I am one of the social chairs for the class of 2021 Student Council. Hello, I'm Zahara Ghazli, and I'm also one of the social chairs on Student Council. On behalf of the class of 2021, we wanted to provide this video with information on the upcoming events in the near future for the seniors this year. We think that we all must be grateful for the opportunities that we've had. Most of us have had the opportunity to have our senior seasons of our sports and this is great because in other parts of the country they have not been as fortunate to get their sports. We also wanted to thank our teachers, staff, and fellow classmates for making this year as easygoing and, in, and as enjoyable as it can be. Although this is not what we wanted for our senior year to look like, we are thankful that we are given the opportunity to engage in our community as well as in our schools, be present in our classes whether you are a remote or a hybrid student, and be able to engage with friends and have the communication that is needed. Even though we, have, we want to do so much, due to the unprecedented times, we must stay realistic. We, there are guidelines and restrictions that we must follow, so we are not able to completely commit to all the events that we want but we must stay mindful of the current situation in the country. We have had many smaller events that have been put on by ourselves, the rest of our class council and our class advisors. These have included the Halloween, Christmas, and even a Super Bowl event. 
We are in the process of planning our bigger events for the near future of our senior year, which include uh, maybe our placement for senior ball, unless restrictions and regulations are lifted, then we will continue to process and alter the, our events and ideas. Due to changing regulations, nothing is set in stone. However, we would like for you guys to provide us with any feedback or ideas you may have on the link below. On the website, like Karina said, we have the, a link to where you can provide your information and feedback that you want or any questions that you may have. And we want to say that on the website as well, there is information regarding all of our events and our process that we are going through to commit and make the events. So if you have any other questions that we may not be able to answer, they could be on the website. So make sure you check it out frequently. We are in the process of creating a senior PowerPoint for decisions on what peers in our class will be continuing to do after high school. We would encourage you to have your student fill out the survey related to where they will be going or what field they will be headed into. So stay tuned and go Rangers!